hello 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 everyone thank you for tuning in i am jay lee this is jay lee's corner and this is my power review power season six episode one okay we are so excited thank you all who are back for another season of power kind of the last season even though it's supposed to be some spinoffs or whatever but we're gonna wait to see what happens with that but if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a whole J-Bird, J-Bird, dun 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 dun. Y'all know what to Like this video, share this video, you can follow me on IG at J underscore leads underscore corner. So, first things first, who the fuck told them to change the goddamn gone theme song? I'm like, I'm waiting for, they say this is a big rich town, you know what I'm saying, sang by Joe. And it's a whole new version, okay? It's Trey Song singing the song. I'm like, did they think we wouldn't notice? I was very upset not hearing the same theme song. I'm like, I finally get how my Jaybirds felt when I changed my theme song, but I ain't had no choice. You know what I'm saying? YouTube was acting dumb by copyright stuff. But I feel like that had been the theme song for five years. Why change it in season six? <sighs> Anyway, so we see the episode starts off, Ashley is shot, okay? She's still shot, and she's been rushed to the hospital, whatever, and Ghost is not allowed to go in the back. But he has a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, blood on his, on his, on his little lapel because he was standing right there. Are you the family? Are you the husband? He's like, no, no, not, no, but well, you need to stay here, okay? Stay here. We have to rush her off to surgery. Now, she was alive and everything, talking to Jamie, Jamie. Me. I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I'm right here, Angela. And they were her off the surgery. Now, at the same time, he's been questioned by the police because she is still a federal person or whatever, and she's been shot. And they got to figure out what the hell happened, okay? Do you know who the shooter was? He's like, no. But he keeps saying flashes of Tommy. You know, I don't know who, I don't know who it was. Um, my back was turned, and so I didn't see it was. But you big in her, like, you're broader than her. Like, if you know, if, for where she got shot, you know what I'm saying, in the proximity of, of the, I'm like, oh, here they go with all the, you know, specifics or whatever. He like, you know, they would have at least hit you too. He's like, look, you know, when she wakes up, when she comes out of surgery, she can tell y'all that, you know what I'm saying, we didn't, you know, I didn't see you did it, and my back was turned, you know what I'm saying. I don't know what happened, but I need to get back to, out there to wait for her to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And that's his whole thing. So, you know, we see he in the waiting room or whatever. And he's just having all these memories of when he first saw her, when it's their time together. All these flashbacks of them being together. I say, she must gonna die. She must gonna die because that's why they all, all the memories. All the memories. Girl, wrong way. All the memories. <laughs> all the memories. And so he just, you know, walking and pacing, walking and pacing. And we then see Angela's sister come through the door. How, oh, how is she? How is she? Murderer! You're a murderer! And I'm like, oh, Angela's gone. You killed my sister! And she's beating him up, hitting him and punching, hitting him and punching. And he like, <sighs> because he realized, what? Say, 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 what? What's going on? What's going on? I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Angela is dead. I thought because we disliked Angela with all the antics that she gave over the past few seasons, how she was the other woman, how she was kind of sort of the home wrecker. Because at the end of the day, James wrecked his home more than Angela wrecked her wrecked his home. So, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, but I was like, dang, she gone for real? Okay. I mean, I was happy when they took Holly out. That was cool. But I was like, oh, he looks so sad. But, I mean, you get, you know, you get what you give or whatever. So, yep, she died in surgery. So, beside that, next up, we see Tommy. We see, because, you know, Tommy did it. So, Tommy calling Keisha. Hey, I need to change the clothes. I need you to meet me here on this place. Da, da, da. What? But I'm happy you're okay. Because she was under the impression he went to go take out ghosts. Because that's what he was supposed to go do. But he ended up taking out Angela. And so they end up meeting up real, real quick. Okay. And she, she gives him a change of clothes or whatever. And he said, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to take this and get rid of it. What? Tommy. Oh, my God. And Tommy's giving her the murder weapon. 
okay, I'm pretty sure that YouTube is going to flag the video, so y'all probably won't get it until, until Sunday, later on, or Monday. It's, I, I, I can't, I can't fix it. Because the words I'm saying, I, I just know they're going to flag me. Anyway, so yeah, he like, I need you to have, no, not had to get rid of it. Because he was saying, you have to toss it and get rid of it. Do it, do it, Keisha. Ugh. Fine, because she takes it, then he still runs off, but he don't tell her what happened. Look, you can't give me a weapon and then not tell me what you did with it and what happened. I need some details, okay? At least say, like, what you we got 10 seconds, we got 10 seconds to explain what happened, but anyway, we then see Tommy goes to me with Tasha. I shot Angela, she's like, What you? Well, I tried in the chat him saying, so I need you to be my alibi. I cannot be, I'm not going to be your alibi because she is alive. Like, she, I know she saw you or whatever. I can't do that. You know, look, I couldn't check if she was dead because Ghost was right there. Wait, Ghost, who were you trying to kill? He don't say much or nothing or whatever. I'm like, mm, I'm trying to kill your husband. So, you look, you were supposed to hold off on Angela or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And we did not discuss you killing ghosts. What is wrong with you? I could not condone this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I would not do that to my children, okay? They can lose their father. I say, I, you know, they can't. So I'm like, I don't need your permission. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? He tricked me into killing my dad or whatever. He was he telling was, me how, you know, my dad was sitting on me. He was really sitting on ghosts. Technically, technically, Ghost didn't know who he was stitching on. And it was supposed to be on Tommy. That's the kicking part. Tommy still listens to what Sax said. And I'm like, y'all, it's so foolish. But you know what I'm saying? Hood, people do hood things, and sometimes I don't ask the right questions. So Ty's like, this is this is crazy. I can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? You took a shot at the devil and missed. I'm not going to get involved in this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I know ghosts fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to agree to y'all killing each other. Y'all need to fix it. And she walks away. I'm like, oh my God. It's just like so much happened within the first. Five minutes of the episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. So we then see, you know, the prosecutors. Okay, it was we see Sax, it was a Sax Donovan and Tamika. Okay, they meet them like, yeah, Anthony was killed. She was shot and killed tonight. And Donovan is pissed. Sax is they all pissed in a different way. Donovan is pissed because Sax is kind of blaming them for it. You know what I'm saying? Sax is pissed because I feel like he know he's guilty because he's the one who told Proctor that they had a female witness. So he feels like, as he said, he feels that because Proctor knew he yeah. he told James and that's what made them two meet up and then he took her out or whatever. I, so it's, it's, it's y'all fault. Like, y'all should have never let her go. We knew she was going to be in, in trouble when she left this room before giving us a statement or whatever. You know, we... And so, Sax, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get proof that St. Patrick did this. And I'm like, technically, he didn't. So, again, y'all are wrong. Like, keep want to frame him or uh, or say he did things he didn't do. And the things he did do, y'all don't even know about. Okay? And the killing part is the witness wasn't even Angela. It was a girl from season one who did the boyfriend he killed. I'm looking like, Lord Jesus, everyone is just wrong. Okay, everyone is wrong. Even though Ghost did think she was a snitch, or the witness, she wasn't. But we have never really liked Sax. Sax has always been seen too much on everything, and he's always been an asshole to Angela. And that's something like, oh, now you want to be your friend? Now you want to avenge her death? When in one way or the other, you've pushed things so far that she ended up, she did too now. Don't get me wrong, she did too. So, but the funny problem with Tamika said, this is a dangerous place to work. I'm like, it really is, because Sandoval, Sandoval was killed, Ezra was killed, um, who was the first guy? As the, the other guy, I can't think what his name is, the first dude, you know, one after the other, after the other. And mainly because they kept pushing issues that wasn't really true. Dangerous to say the least, okay? We do see Sax go to like see Asla's body where her sister's there. And for the most part, Sax wants the sister to agree to have an autopsy done because he's like, we need any evidence within her body to catch her killer. We you don't need to cut my sister up to to, to know that Jamie did it's like it was all him or whatever. You know, you this is y'all fault. Like y'all she told me that you was an asshole to her. Y'all kinda left her out the drive, or whatever, like y'all were trying to frame her for doing thing, doing thing that she didn't do. Now you wanna figure out who killed her? And Sack said, so, you know, you're right. You know, we did do that. We did leave her out the drive. However, if you allow don't allow us 
to do the autopsy, you know what I'm saying, you would be at fault for letting the murderer go free. Facts is pushing his issue, and James didn't do, I mean, he, and, you know, he, he didn't pull the trigger. He may have been the reason she was there, but he didn't kill her. Tommy did. Not only that, she kind of killed herself, okay, because she moved ghosts out the way and sacrificed herself when she seen Tommy about to shoot. So, we then see Tommy, okay, Tommy goes home, he's walking his apartment, looking around, you know, looking around, because he assumed Ghost is probably going to be there. But, you know, we don't see Ghost. So he walk around. Honey, Ghost pop out of a corner. They is fighting. And I mean fight, girl. They is up here fighting, fighting. I mean a whole full-fledged punching and kicking and kicking and punching and throwing over the girl. All kind of a knockdown, drag them out, fight. Not a scuffle, a fight, okay? And you kill as a motherfucker. Well, you made me kick my kill my father. You know what I'm saying? He was stitching on me. He was stitching on you and they just fighting and arguing and fighting and arguing and it was it wasn't a it wasn't a fight how you fight someone who you want to like you know take out you know someone who you hate it's how you fight your brother it was a typical two brothers fighting and not holding back no punches but really not trying to kill each other just trying to beat each other up or whatever so you can still see there's a brotherhood within them even though they hate each other <laughs> like it's a whole thing. And Ghost issue again is you killed Angie. But Tommy's issue is, but you made me kill my daddy. Okay? And I feel like they both have reason to be pissed. So as they're fighting and fighting and fighting and, and Tommy, they, I'm happy. Uh, I was trying to kill you, but I'm happy Angela did. I'm happy about that. And then as they're fighting and fighting and fighting, this little asshole walks in. Yep. Asshole Tariq. Okay, Tariq walks in like, what are y'all fighting for? What's going on? And the gun that I think Tommy had on in his hand or whatever, Tariq picks up. I'm like, oh, please don't tell me Tariq gonna shoot somebody. I know he won't because it's too early. It's only episode one and that's seen too much. But Tariq, go sit your ass. Why are you not in school? And that's the first question that goes as, why are you not in school? He like, don't worry about it. He's like, I said, why are you not in school? And Tariq, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, big ball and bad or whatever. He like, look, I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to take you back to school. I'm here to talk to Uncle Tommy. And Ghost is like, little motherfucker. What? I'm like, look, <laughs> Ghost wanted to wring his neck. But he didn't. But he did. He like, Tommy is no longer family. That ain't your decision no more, Ghost. I said, you going to keep calling your daddy by his street name? And Ghost, you going to keep letting him? Look, this little bird, look, this is why we know. This is TV because in real life, a real hood dude like Ghost, if his son kept calling him Ghost and get all in his face, he would have got his ass kicked. Okay, a whole ass would bend. But Ghost is like, I'm like, Ghost, beat his ass. Okay, whoop that trick ass all up and through. And then Ghost say, you know what, you got 10 minutes. I'm like, who gives their child time to be somewhere that they not supposed to be? That's why Tariq's so fucked up. Now, nah, y'all don't be... Control that child. Control that child. Even though he's he's all out of whack now, but it is what it is. So, Ghost leaves. He then say, Uncle Tommy, I need your help in doing something. Tommy say, you know, we gotta wait. I can help you, but give me a couple hours. I gotta go handle something. We see that Jason is texting him, and he has to go see Jason. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. We see Sack. Sack goes to see Proctor real quick. Mainly to say, like, look, you know, I know you told James about the female witness. So you the reason James then went and killed Angela. What? Valdez is dead? What? He's like, yes. And I, and I know you told James and he then met with her and killed her because he thought she was the witness. He's like, look, I don't know what you're talking about or whatever. Like, my kind didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know James, and I know how much he loved Angela. He wouldn't kill her. So, you know what I'm saying? He didn't do it. He like, but however, you gave me evidence in a federal case. Who else did you tell? So maybe it ain't my fault she did. Maybe it's yours. And it is. And I feel like that's why he's so gung-ho in his thing, because he know he's the real reason that she said. He be thinking too much, and he think he's smart. He really not. Mm -mm, he really not. So we do see that Tamika, the black attorney lady who's like over all of them, gets fired because someone had to take the blame for Angela getting killed. Every season, one of them gets killed and every season, it's a new boss. So, I mean, I'm not surprised. And we see the new boss is J. 
Jacob Warner's his name, but I'm like, that's Charlotte's boss. Not Charlotte's boss. That's Charlotte's husband from Sex in the City, Harry. I'm like, Harry, what you doing, Harry? Now, Harry was also a lawyer on Sex in the City as well. I'm like, why didn't y'all just call him Harry? And then say Harry has moved up because it's still in New York, but I mean, I guess so. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? He plays Jacob Warner, and he's the new boss. And he looks like he don't take no shit because when Sax walked in, oh, Sax, I know you. Yeah, pack your bag. You know, pack your, basically your side, okay? Pack your box. Get up on up out of here. Well, you know what? I got some information I think you could use. You know what I'm saying? I know who the leak was that caused Angela's death. Angela's death. Oh, well, who was it? It was me. I'm not going to see. Oh, well, at least he told him himself. He brings up how I told Proctor that we had a female witness in hope that that would make James talk. However, I think he told her that it was Angela, which made St. Patrick go take out Angela because they're lovers. And he, you know, and that's who, you know, he was, she was going to flip on him. And he like, why should I listen to you? You know, all this foolishness has been going on. And, you know, it's just so much things when it's, it's all wrong you wrong they wrong dead people wrong or whatever it's just seen too much why should i listen to what you're saying you know saying look i know what i did was wrong or whatever i know and i could really like have you arrested like drew be told like you can be disbarred like i know that but you know i feel like we should still tell proctor that we have a witness and then we see that the real witness life is you know attempted to be taken out we can then know that it was you know saint patrick who did it all right, I'll give you enough rope to hang yourself, okay? But if this goes wrong, I will personally indict you myself. We then see Tasha, okay? Tasha has been looking for Terry. She has not talked to Terry. Terry has been missing. Where the f is Terry? Where is my Terry? Okay, I need my Terry. And then, you know, so she goes to his job. And, like, and she's about to just walk in. Uh, can we help you? See at the receptions. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm looking for Terry Silver. Are you family? You're like a friend. She's like, um, no, but I've been looking for him all over. Like, he's not answering his phones or whatever. And I'm just trying to say, like, is he here? Has anyone seen him? Well, I didn't want to say, but, you know, they filed a missing police report. You know, his family did. We have not seen him. Like, everyone is worried because no one's seen him. He has not been to work. You know, we went to his apartment. He's not there. Like, we don't know what's going on. And we know he was involved with some unsavory people. Like, some dangerous people. And Tasha, like... Oh, well, should I tell them, like, who are you again? Like, who? I can tell his family. Oh, no, you know what? <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. I'm going to just leave right out of here. And so she leaves, but she know, shit, okay? So something has happened to Terry. Where is Terry? Because he's not calling me back in the last. First of all, the last time we saw Terry, him and Tasha was having sex in the parking garage, okay? And Ghost seen them had sex in the parking garage. And when Tasha pulled off from having sex with Terry in that parking garage, we then see him go up. Now, we seen Ghost basically strangle Terry. And again, no one has heard from him ever since so you know she just she knows something is wrong and she just because she can't i can't find him why are you terry no. so we so tommy goes to meet up with jason because him goes into a fight tommy's face is very very beaten up and so what happened to your face man like oh this is like a little family fight or whatever you know men goes had a fight but we're good like so you know again he's he's he consistently tells jason me and ghost is fine you know it ain't gonna interfere with business like nothing's going on or whatever it's cool all right, fine. He brings up how, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, how about the Jimenez lady? You know what I'm saying? I need you to take out the Jimenez. He's like, you're in jail. He's like, I don't care. Like, they need to be gone. Oh, well, all right. Give me some time. I'll handle that as well. But meantime, in between time, what I need is some cocaine. Okay, some what? Some cocaine. Okay, I need that for my people. I've got my old crew back together, whatever. You know, I'm, I, I, I ain't got no more issues with my dish show, so I just need that. He then gives Jason a check to pay for the cocaine. Okay, oh, is this money you laundered through, you know, James and stuff or whatever? He's like, look, it's a check. It's clear. I need stuff like right now, right now, right now. He's like, no, I need to wait for your check to clear. Okay, I will see you back here tonight. So we do see that um, Tommy go to see his distros or whatever. So, you know, we see, I should have got a picture of all of them. It's, you know, but you know, the, the gang, the whole gang is there. So, you know, we know Dre down there because Dre is in protective custody. We know Crystal Ball, you know, was taken out or whatever. So, you know, it's the two black dudes, Spanky and somebody else, and one who look like David Ruffin, the other one who to me look, look like the aunt. 
and other people or whatever. And so he tells them, hey, you know, my connect has a little bit of an issue. It's going to take me a little bit of a minute to get y'all stuff, but we're going to have it. What he could have said was, I'm going to have it tonight. Or I have it tomorrow. But he just said, I need some time. You know, I need some time. And then, what a dude that? I got his picture, but I ain't put it up to shit. Where is, oh, this dude. This dude. This dude right here is like, oh, so we supposed to be starving and suffering because you have issues, you know what I'm saying? You can't get us the stuff we need. Like, we trying to eat, you know? We got to make some money. I'm like, bro, please leave Tommy alone. This, he's had a bad day. He, we, he just, you don't want no trouble with Tommy. And then he like, you know what I'm saying? I said I need some time, you know what I'm saying? I told you I just need some time. And Tommy said it in a nice way. I, I need some time, bro. Tommy like, man, look, sit down. Like I said, you ain't shit without ghosts. This fool was just like, wow. I'm like, oh. I mean, he out the blue kill, dude. I'm looking like, oh, now he is no more. He is gone. He isn't here anymore. And then his friend, who, who he had a friend there with him. So what you gonna do, okay? You either gonna take this promotion. Okay, or take this bullet. What you gonna do? Damn, Tommy, really? He like, yes, that's how it is. Like, and if anybody else don't want to work with me, y'all can get out of here just like he did. And I'm like, I don't think y'all want to go out that way. Mm-mm, well, you don't. All right, you know what I'm saying? I'll take the promotion. Okay, and you got to go back to the, soldado, the, the Soldados or whatever their names is. Go back to your gang, people. And I don't care how you explain what happened to him, but leave my name out of it. And I was like... Okay, now clean this mess up. And then Tommy leave. Man, Tommy tripping. Like, what he do that for? Dude said, people die every day. Be. I said, you going to, really? You going to quote paid in full? And they just have to clean up the body. And we see. then see to Tosha. Tasha and Ghost meet up at the club or whatever. What you want, Ghost? Therese back. He's not in school or whatever. He's in the city. Okay, you could have text me with that. You had to call. Why did you call me here? Angela's dead. Angela's dead. Tommy did it. You know what I'm saying? Tommy was trying to kill me, but he killed Angela. Okay, I know, because you trying to get you made him kill his father. Oh, was that what he told you? Look, his daddy was gonna snitch on all of us. I had to take him out. He's like, What? But why didn't you do it? Because if I killed the daddy, Tommy would be mad at me. He wanna kill me. But he still wants to kill you, go. So look, what did it help? I'm like, that is true. You made Tommy do it so that Tommy would not be mad at you. He still is mad at you and want to keep. So you could have did it, done it yourself in the first place. In the first. I think Tommy's issue isn't my dad had to go. It's the fact that you tried to trick me into doing it. That's where his anger comes from or whatever. And I mean, he has a right to feel that way. So he like, you know, but he, he, he loved it. You know what I'm saying? Leaving me here to feel like, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to live with the fact that he killed the woman I love. I said, oh, Lord Jesus. You will not be complaining to your wife about your best fr or ex-best friend killing the woman that you love. And she was like, I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry that you feel the way ghosts. And she wait, 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 Tasha. Just wait. You know what I'm saying? I need you. Need me for what? What about who I love? What about me? It's always about you. What about me, Ghost? What about my feelings? Where's Terry? What about Terry? The man I love? Where is he? He's missing, Ghost. You know about, about do you know anything about that? No, I don't. Flash of Ghost choking out Terry. I'm looking like, yes, yes, you do. You can at least say you accidentally choked him out. At the least, Ghost, but Ghost keeps lying like I don't know what happened. You know what? Whatever, you know, I'm not going to help you with this. You need to figure it out yourself. You created this mess between you and Tommy. You need to fix it. And by the way, I want a fucking divorce. I said, oh, she wants a divorce. But I think she always wanted one last season. But because some of the things that had happened, they just couldn't do it. So I'm not surprised that she's like, one, clean up your own mess. And two, I don't want to be with you anymore because... They shouldn't be together. I mean, Raina's dead. Ashley's dead. Terry's dead. It's a hope. Tariq almost went to jail. <sighs> it's a whole broken family. And uh, and Ghost looked shocked when she said she wanted a divorce. Did you think she want to be with you? You just told her that Tommy killed the, the, the love of your life, the woman you love. And she's your wife. Oh, damn it, Ghost. Just damn it. Okay? So, from there, we see Ghost goes to... When Ghost is... Still stay at the penthouse, even though Tasha doesn't live there. And he sees Proctor. And Proctor is always getting 
hemmed up. Okay, Ghost is pissed off. Mainly because, like, you told me that Angela was the witness, and that's not true, whatever. I can't believe that. You know, I can't believe you. She's dead now. Now she's dead. Ghost, calm down, you know. Calm down, you know what I'm saying? Did you kill her? Of course I didn't kill her. Look, Tommy's the one who killed her, you know what I'm saying? She pushed me out the way, and when Tommy's trying to shoot me, and that's why she's dead, you know. Tommy did this. He did it, and he's happy about it. She saved my life, man. You know, you kept telling me that she would not, you know, pick me or whatever. She saved my life. Look, calm down, ghost. I'm sorry about that or whatever. But look, Sax came to me and he told me there's another witness, okay? There's another female witness. So you have to think because you are the prime suspect in a federal employee's murder. You know what I'm saying? If you are not going to turn Tom in, turn him in. I'm putting him in a body bag, not a prison cell. I said, oh, a body bag, a body bag, girl. I mean, technically they eat they they even technically because go this this is this is the thing with, that what goes to kind of it's like you you real flawed you took out Terry who Tasha wanted to be with okay you ended up making Sean leave earlier in the seasons because he wanted Tasha okay you kind of forced Tommy's hand and taking out Holly. Okay, and you did that too. And then you forced his hand into taking out um, his daddy. You also made it to where Tariq had to arrange for Kanan to be taken out. You know what I'm saying? So, Ghost, you upset because you've experienced one loss, but you've in one way or another contributed to everyone else losing someone. You can't, I mean, you can't, you're not innocent. You're not. And so the vengeance that he wants is not justified, okay? And also in that, the vengeance that Tommy wants isn't justified. Y'all need to sit down and just talk. No one talking. Everyone's assuming shit. But let me not. It's too, It's only episode one. Let me just let, let, let me let them play it out. Or uh, whatever. Anyway, you know, but he said, I'm putting Tommy in a body bag, not a cell. I get it. I get it, James. Okay, but if that's the case, we need to go down and answer the questions of the federal people, okay? Right now. Okay, when? Right now is when we need to do that. I'm like, if you say so. Now, we see a quick little scene. Remember this lady, Sergeant so-and-so. I don't know what her last name is. I want to say, like, Gutierrez. It, it may not be that either. It's something. But she's the regular cop who was originally looking into Ray Ray's murder. And she kept trying to connect Angela with Ray Ray's stuff, with Ghost's stuff, and all these things. And she's done talking to Jacob. Telling him how she knew there was some kind of connection between Angela, oh, and the foolishness or whatever, and also St. Patrick. Oh, is that right? Well, what do you want to do? Well, I think you should make a task force, and I should be a part of your task force because you can't trust your own people. Because isn't there, isn't your people the people who leaked the information on Angela in the first place? So I'm looking like, oh, I don't know why she keep popping up, but she's uh, here now, so we're going we to let her live. We see Tasha has found Tariq. <sighs> Ma, how you find me? I was tracking your phone, Tariq. Oh, that's fucked up. Who are you cussing at? Why was Tariq cussing at his people? Why has no one beat his ass? But I digress. You know what? I came here to get you, whatever. I'm taking you back to school. I ain't going, I ain't going nowhere. Okay, your choice is either to go back to school or we would go to your school uh, take you out of school when you come home, you'll be sitting in the house with me. So which one do you want to do? Fine, okay. But give me two hours. I'm like, what parent gives a kid who's not supposed to be here two hours to still be here? No, Rick. Okay, give me an hour. I'm going local times or whatever. Give me an hour to do something, and I, I promise you, you can come get me from this house or whatever. And I'm looking like, one time she said, okay, don't make me come find you. You just had to find him. You just had to. To find, I'm like, oh, God. The worst parent award goes to Tasha and Ghost. We then see James, James St. Patrick Ghost. He's meeting up with, you know, Jacob, with Sax, with Donovan, with Proctor because they want to ask him some questions. And they mainly kept saying, did you do it? We know you did it. We know you killed her. We know that you called her that night. We know that you asked her to meet up with you. You know, we know that you did all these things. Like, why did you set her up? I didn't do that. I loved her, okay? I didn't I didn't kill her. It wasn't me. He just keeps talking. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Why did you call her? Why did y'all meet up? And Donovan and Sax is just so mad. I'm like, y'all could have came in there with more than just the assumption that he would just 
buckle and fold because y'all keep yelling at him saying, oh, you did it. He, and he didn't do it. But, but he like, look, I met her with her because she knew it would be the last time that we could talk because she said she wasn't going to talk and she knew that she would be going to jail. So, you know, we went to that school or whatever. It's where we had history and that's what it was. Oh, we don't fucking believe you. That's some bullshit or whatever. That's not true. So if you didn't do it, then who? He looks at Jackie and says, look, if I knew who did it, I would tell you, okay? No lie, okay? Because whoever did this deserves to pay. And Jacob looked at him like, I I believe you didn't do it. But I also believe what you just told me was, whoever did do it, you're going to kill. Okay? That's the look he gave me, in my opinion. So, you know what I'm saying? They can't arrest him or whatever. He kept his cool and he was truthful. He thought, I loved her. I would not, I would have never hurt her okay that's that's not what it was you know what I'm saying I, I I didn't kill her I if I knew who did it I'll tell you I don't know you wouldn't because you because you know who did it you know who did it and you didn't want to say nothing but whatever we then see Tommy and Tariq uh meeting up okay all on the rooftop of the building or whatever mainly because Tariq whole point coming back was he wanted to spread Kana's ashes I'm like you was so loyal to Canaan and is so aggravated because as bad as your father is, Canaan is just so. Canaan, truthfully, is one of the reasons it's so much discourse within the family. It's still causing foolishness to go on between the family. And so the funny part when he was about to spread the ashes, Tommy took some ashes and put them on a blunt. Like, yeah, you know, we're going to really, you know what I'm saying, let him float into the sky. I say, Lord Jesus. So, but Tommy then, was like, oh, wait, hold on. He then plays a song on his phone, and all you hear is, boom, 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 tell me what, I'm like, what, and, the, and Tommy was singing a song, I'm like, Lord, and Tar- Tariq is too young, he don't know nobody, he's like, Uncle Tommy, what is that, nigga, it's, meet you at the crossroads, okay, yes, that's what you play, meet you at the, so you won't be lonely, but Tariq young, he don't know no better. Anyway, they talking or whatever, and then he like, you know what, Uncle Tommy, why would you want ghost fighting? I'm like, you gonna keep calling your daddy ghost? Okay. He said, you know what, ghost did some snake shit that I can't ever forgive him for, okay? What that back there for that do not. He made me, he tricked me into killing my father. We were just getting to know each other or whatever, and he tricked me into doing it. You know, had me thinking he was just on me, but really, he was just on ghost. Again, that's the crazy part. That ghost, my lipstick was coming off my face. That's the crazy part. The ghost didn't know that. And Tommy keeps talking like it's a, a point of fact. And it really, really isn't. Ghost just thought he was thinking. He really, he he did think he was that he was thinking on on um on Tommy. I might have just been seeing things. Anyway, but you know, he keep doing this narrative of where ghosts knew that Tommy Daddy was thinking on him, and it really wasn't him. It was just thinking on them in general. His daddy at the last minute decided to not stitch on um on Tommy, but I digress. So you know, treat you know I I turned on Canaan to protect our family. And that was wrong too. Like I'm just like my daddy. You know I be I turned my back on who I need to be loyal to for the family. You know so that's not the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And Ghost is never there when we need him. I'm like he really has been there when y'all needed him, and no one knew. It's just once he got well, me was also not there a lot of times. But I digress. And then Tommy said, you know, well, how would you feel if something happened to him? You know what I'm saying? If something really bad happened to him. And Tariq paused. Like, you know what? I I really don't know. You know. I don't know how I would feel. I'm happy he didn't say one thing or the other. Because as much as Tariq thinks he hates his father, he don't. He just, he a kid who's who just stupid. We then see Tariq do what he's supposed to do. He go with his mama to go back to school, you know, and he in the car, whatever, like, oh, okay, yeah, hey, mom was just hanging out with Uncle Tommy, whatever, it wasn't even illegal, this, but he, she don't, she, but he also doesn't tell her, we would just spread Kana's ashes, so she like, you know, I want to be honest with you, um, I'm not moving back into the penthouse, you know what I'm saying, and I'm going to be divorcing your father, and then he just kind of paused for a minute or whatever, um, I wish, I, I wish I could divorce him too, um, because if he never hooked up with that bitch ass Angela, you know, all this would not be happening. Um, you know, it's all his fault. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, son, I have to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying, just to let you know, Angela's dead. What? Really? Yeah. 
you like, you not happy, you know what I'm saying? She's the real reason that you and dad are together or whatever. And if she wasn't around, you know, and if she wasn't around, you would be in jail right now, Tariq. And not only that, it's not her fault. It's your dad's fault that me and him are not together. It's not, it's not her. She did a lot to protect you, okay? She basically died doing things to protect you. She kept you out of jail. And that's the part that Tariq don't get as angry as he is at his father. Asla didn't have to save him. So, you know, because she died helping you. You know what I'm saying? If she did not help you, she would probably still be alive. And that's true because she would have been involved in all of the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And then he asked, well, did Uncle Tommy kill her? Because he didn't realize, okay, that's why my, you know, Uncle Tommy and Dad be fighting. And she said, don't pick sides between your dad and your uncle because you, you might get hurt. I'm looking like, like physically. So we see Tasha. Tasha and Mama have dinner. Finally, we ain't seen Mama since. Well, we seen that right in the funeral. And so the mom like, you know, so how is things going now that the other one was out the way? I've seen many couples come back from crazier things than that. Mama, you serious? No, that ship has. To, I'm not doing that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's some bullshit afoot. And not only that, you know, Terry is missing. Okay, I think Ghost did it. And what did you think would happen, Tasha? You think he would just let you leave and be with him? I'm looking like the mama up her mama is kind of like defending ghosts in a way. But she said, like, you know, of course I'm saying you should be with your husband. You can't afford nothing. You can, you don't have no job, no money. How can you support yourself and your kids? That's true. Her whole life has been funded by ghosts. And she realized that. And she said, like, you know, no, I'm gonna get revenge on him in my own way. Okay, because I know he has something to do. With Terry and me missing. And I'm like, oh. Well, okay. We uh, then see Ghost go to see Angela's sister. And, you know, she's leaving her apartment. He's like, look, I don't you can just listen. What are you doing here? Why are you here? You got my sister killed. She blew up her life for you, okay? You ruined her life. She, why can't you stay away? He's like, look, we couldn't stay away from each other. I love your sister. And if you can let me explain, like, I want to just talk. To you. I'm like, like, so he like, look, I'm just here because I know you can't afford to bury her. Let me pay for the funeral. And I was like, oh. ghost, no. <laughs> you could have just left some hidden money in Ezra's house and, and the sister could have found it and paid for the funeral that way. But I'm like, don't offer that no money. I don't want shit from you, okay? I don't want nothing from you. Leave me alone. And the next time I see you, you'll be in handcuffs. I said, oh. And I'm like, ghost, listen to what she just said. She working with the police. <laughs> He's like, she knows something. She knows something. So we then see she's leaving from Ghost and she's going down to the to the, to the the morgue. And she's signing the thing to let Saxon and them do the autopsy. Whatever. Get them, you know, take them down. You know, to, I don't know, shoot, do whatever, get them arrested or whatever. You know, you do this or I'm going to beat your ass. And then as Sax is talking to Angela's body, I'm going to get him. I know he did and I'm going to get him for doing this to you. Then that cop lady show up and say, oh gonna get who who you think did it he like what what are you doing here your boss put out put together a task force and i'm on the task force so who did what and i'm like so we have to have a season of her i don't really like her that much but i'm like whatever we see tasha in the car and she keeps calling terry's phone and calling phone and calling and he not answering or whatever she's just crying in her car because it's oh so sad it's just oh so sad we see keisha and she tossing the gun, okay? The gun is not gone. Finally, it has happened. At the same time, she's she tossing the gun. We see Tasha is calling her. But, of course, she can't answer. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. We see Ghost in a car sitting there. And he was, you know, put, well, no, he was loading a gun. Loading the gun into recall. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, I heard about Ansley, whatever. And even though I didn't like her, you know what I'm saying? It's still, you know, she did help me a lot or whatever, so I'm sorry if you feel sad. You know what I'm saying? And they may not mean much, Dad. I'm looking like, Dad, he up to some shit or whatever. So, he like, no, you know, something does me a lot or whatever. Um, You know, cool, cool, cool. And then he got the phone. His roommate then say, I thought you didn't like your dad. He like, I don't, but I got to play nice. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, you don't want them to lose another kid. But, I mean, it's Tariq. So, can't he just like, pew, 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 and be gone? I don't know. So, I was like, I can't do this. We then see Jason. And he's meeting with, Tom, with Tommy. He's still saying, oh, yeah, me and Ghost is fine. We don't have any issues. Like, it won't be no interactions or whatever. It won't be no interference with 
our stuff we got going on. He said, okay, cool. But when he hugs Tommy, he hugs him real tight, like a little weird hug or whatever. He then said, hey, go do what I told you to do, talking to somebody else. And so the person leaves. And then we see outside, Ghost was loading up his, his gun to shoot people, okay? And we then see Tommy's car coming around. I'm like, oh, shit. And Ghost just and lit the car up. I'm looking like, oh, shit, is Keisha in the car? Oh, my God, was Keisha in the car? And the only reason I knew it was a Keisha was because I remember seeing um, scenes of her for later this season. I'm like, okay, it can't be her or whatever. But I'm like, oh, what if he killed Keisha? I'm like, damn, who else could be in his car? Like, was it his mama? Was his mama in the car? Who won the car? Turns out it was the Jason's flunky or whatever. Jason and Tommy get to the car. He like, how? What the fuck? He like, you hugged me, took my keys. He like, yeah, I knew Ghost would be following you, and I figured if he was out to get you, he would come and he would do something. Sure enough, look at this. Well, maybe it's not Ghost. Maybe it's, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. He like, look, you either going to have to, you know, handle this with Ghost or not. Like, are you going to run or are you going to fight? I'm looking like, oh, God. Jason now wants him to fight Ghost. He has to fight. I'm like, oh, my God. Why can't they just be brothers? Why can't we go back to season one when they were like, just friendly. And now they both are trying to consistently take each other out. I'm like, I just can't do this. So, Ghost is like in the car in the shock face. Like, he just can't believe that he, because he thinks, he thinks he just killed Tommy. Because again, who else would be driving Tommy's car? Bringing it around, he assumed it was Tommy. So, he's in shock because he feels like Tommy's dead. You know what I'm saying we then see Tommy gets to Keisha house because Tommy's very much so alive. And then he's like, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, or whatever. You know, he tell her the truth. You know, I killed Angela. It wasn't Ghost that I killed. I killed Angela and Ghost saw me do it. What? Oh, I can't believe what? Why wouldn't I can't believe it? You know what? I just can't. He's like, Look, Keisha, this is war, okay? This is war, and I need to get you and Cash out of here. And she was like, No. No, if I can help, I'm staying. I'm not like, you staying, Keisha. You not gangster boo boo. You mm -mm, no. You have a whole son. The fact that Keisha wants to stay, despite the fact that she know Tommy killed the wrong person and goes after him, <sighs> she's just not smart. She's so hood, not smart. But I mean, it is what it is. He's like, look, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, I don't know how it's gonna end. I don't know how bad it's gonna get. Like, are you sure? I don't care. I'm staying. I'm looking like, see, that's how people get killed. That's how they get killed. We then see the end scene is Ghost. Ghost is in Az's house and is walking around, remembering all day times together, looking at old pictures or whatever, just reminiscing, looking all sad and shit. And then, um, you know, he then walks to the door. And he's about to leave. Look, you see, he's looking all sad, okay? Looking all angry. Looking all like, I'm going to be the biggest goddamn drug dealer in New York. But not so much, okay? And he's just looking around like one last time. And he just leaves. And he stops. He locks the door back. And he just says, I'm sorry, Angie. And then he just walks away. And you know what? It was sad. It was The music was sad. The memories were sad. And I shed a little tear. But I'm like, but we hated Angela. We've wanted her dead for like three seasons. So I feel like it's weird that I was sad. I'm like, but I'm happy she's gone at the same time. So that was her episode. The season does look promising. Um, I will say that I'm happy this was under an hour. <laughs> so if you have watched this long, you know, um, use this, wait, use this. In a sentence, okay, the oracle. So use the oracles in some kind of sentence so that, you know, I know. Use the oracles and the word coaster. Oracles, the word coaster, and, um, <laughs> and back scratcher. So the word oracles, uh, <laughs> coaster, and back scratcher. However you can use that in the, in the sentence, you know, we shall see if you watch this long. Anyway, thank you so much. Until next Sunday. Peace. Or, or Monday, because I don't, I don't know when you're going to get this. Peace.